That does nothing for me, Blaine. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Like, what does that have to do? What does people knocking on the glass when you're walking out, what does that have to do with them getting, you know, getting their butts kicked against Green Bay in the postseason? <laughs> it has nothing to do with it. Like, can we just stop it, please? Can uh, we just stop it? Can we just I, wait? Let me speak to this camera. Hey, Jack. <laughs> just, w- listen, in the postseason, please just ball out, okay? Like Micah, do the same thing. CD, I need all of you guys to do that, so we don't have to revert to like talking about these type of comments from Dalton Schultz about all oh, people knocking on the glass while we're working out and the culture and all that. Can y'all please, please? Do something in postseason. But that, is, but that is exactly why it is something. It's the fact that Damian Woody has to plead into the camera for the Cowboys players to actually do <laughs> what they've been doing during the regular season in the postseason, that is part of it. Everybody is talking about what goes wrong in Dallas. When, Dal- when uh, Schultz talks about it's not like that at other places, there are things maybe internally that may lead to a distraction. Uh-oh, not the gun. Go, not the gun. Going. D. Wood yeah. looks upset. I got him. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep going. I mean, that's part that I'm not saying what Dalton Schultz is saying is like the end all be all of what's wrong with them. But we are all looking for what goes wrong. Do they have a talent problem? Do they have a dog problem? Do they have an acceptance problem, which they accept being really good in the regular season. And then when the lights shine brightest, they fall off. We've been talking about this for months, Damien. It is something is there. Got to I, even this up. You know what? You know what, first lady? <laughs> what, 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 Bishop? You know what? Tell me what. I am what so Bishop? disappointed in you. <laughs> you disappointed in me. I am me. so disappointed in you. You are really trying to make this into something. I am not. I, really? I'm not the I'm People not the one who's knocking on the glass. Nobody's making it into And now we're going we to blow it up into I'm, the, the whole is, culture. No, says, no, hey, we why? are not. Do not break up the congregation and get really, up right now. I was kind of feeling that. Why'd you stop? All right, sorry. Dominic, <laughs> jump in here if you will, please. <laughs> I just, I'm going to so, setting two. Yes, so Dominic. In Dalton, in, in Dalton <sighs> Schultz's defense, he never said that was the reason why. He was just explaining that it is different in Dallas mm-hmm. than it is everywhere else. And we all understand that. We work in this industry, so we know how different <laughs> it is in Dallas, and it's a creation of Jerry Jones. <laughs> I personally don't believe in the concept of, like, distractions. Everyone deals with a bunch of different issues through the course of a season. Some nonsense happening in your arena is not a distra- distraction. I don't think that's the culture there is the problem. What, if what, you're Bishop? Jerry Jones, yes. why would you change the formula? Why? You mean, Jack- no, hold on. Let, hold on. Hear no, me out now here. I got to go. Why I would have you to change talk to the, the Lord? Why would you change it? Okay. It- How much are the Cowboys worth? No, no, no. no. They're worth like, like almost $10 yes. billion. Dollars. Okay, okay, but here. You don't think that's not working for Jerry Jones? It is. It it's is. It's working for it Jerry is, Jones. But hear me, hear me clearly. Is it about winning championships? Or are we just trying to make, like, are we just trying to sell seats? Are we selling seats? Or are we trying to win championships? You're talking about. You're talking to a you're talking to a billionaire. Like I, billionaires like to make money. So then don't like, so then don't say oh we're all in on winning. Like that. It, what is the culture? What is it about? But like, Emily, they've won like twelve games, three straight oh, we talk, years. Oh, three we, straight years. Okay, like, we're talking about the regular uh, season again. But we, why do we talk about the Cowboys? Because they have a chance to be a Super Bowl champion, except me, they just don't. Let do me get that. Mike T. I, I feel like I'm just watching the two of you working out. I'm tapping on the glass like I'm at the Cowboys <laughs> like, facility. <laughs> Go ahead, final yeah, word, go Mike over T. there, Damien. Go, go, go over word. there. Yeah. Queenie, you've covered very high-profile teams going back to the Bulls. We've seen the Pistons. We've seen the Yankees with Percy Eyes, the Patriots. The common thread with all those stars, <laughs> listen, d this is good stuff. They've won in the postseason, and I think that's the part where this team has fallen short for the last two decades is without postseason success, they have not earned the right to have this platform, and I think that's where they're – this big disconnect is they are, they're not the Bulls, they're not the Yankees, they're not the Patriots. They can't get to the championship game, let alone win a Super Bowl. And I think that's where Go a ahead. lot of this disconnect is that they haven't earned the right to be on this platform. Okay, just want to make sure you're okay, big fella, right? You know we, <laughs> you know, we love you, and I just don't want you to be too upset. This is upset. This twice today, this topic has really gotten to you, and I just want oh, to Oh, sure here we go. Right. More diva I'm, behavior. I'm okay. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm good, man. I just had to take a seat, man. When the offensive linemen act like quarterbacks and they want to steal all the spotlights, steal all the cameras, <laughs> we got the host coming to date. You know, it's Fair just. Fair enough. This kind of day here so far here on Get Up, uh, D-Wood, you know, the big fellow. He's getting a little hot and bothered. Yeah, I mean, he was a little upset. He was yelling at Kmart. We were all a little yes. nervous.
So we just have to try and make him feel better. And what this has led to, D Wood, is a request. Like you're starting a trend here. Emma. Yeah, our, our, our dear friend Brooke Pryor, who's a regular with us here, says she's asking for the Theragun treatment next time. I'm shutting this here. down now. That's Brooke, not I'm happening. You, Brooke, Theragun, it's, it's get out of here. Nope, absolutely not. Brooke no. is spectacular. No. I, no. I'll no. All this, all this diva behavior in the studio, I'm putting an end He's to like it. He's like the Russell no, Wilson of Get Up now. He's Do you have beef with me? You have beef now, with me? Now we have beef. Okay. Into the second hour, we've got beef. <laughs>